It's best around 2k here back with another video and today we're going to be talking about camellia so what you're seeing in the background is my first time doing the tower of diversity on the uh, havoc damage side and my first time using her going through it um i don't have the crazy amount of traces i do not have her signature weapon i'm using the uh the standard weapon the standard five star weapon it's not terrible it's definitely I can see how her weapon would definitely make her do a shit ton more damage. I can see how it's very good and it could be useful if you're going to use it on a Havoc Rover. But why would you use Havoc Rover if you have Camellia? So basically, Camellia is very, very, very strong. She's not Gen C strong, but I would say as far as if you're looking at like difficulty of how hard the character is to play, I'd say Camellia is slightly harder to play than Gen C c is a lot easier of a character to play they both have insane damage but jinsu's is just higher but she needs teammates to be able to accomplish that so it's not quite as easy but her camellia's damage is kind of like self-sustained but it i feel bad for people to pull for jian because jian got power crypt the shit like the only good thing about jian was that he had grouping capabilities in aoe but now camilla does that pretty much better if not just better in every way you know only thing that's bad about her is that she's havoc which is uh, kind of bad for the uh, enhanced tower, like the one after the regular tower, because that shit has some havoc immune enemies, which makes that kind of difficult. But besides that, uh, she is very fun to play and very strong, especially as you can see with this AOE damage. She just kind of wrecks everything. But I mean, as my as my first time doing it, I mean, it's just pretty. She is usable even if you don't know exactly what you're doing with her. She can still work. Um, she's basically pretty much the gist of it is you uh, want to intro in just like Gen C, like that kind of way, and then you have your meter, and then your your concerto meter or whatever, and then you use it all to hit. as long as you hit all your enemy uh, enemy with every single hit, then you get up to ten stacks. When you hit ten stacks, you get the flower, which makes a big old burst of damage, and then you get the damage bonus, the havoc damage bonus. And then you get another refill of your concerto bar and then you just do damage with that. So what I've learned is uh, it's not my information. I got it from watching Gotcha Smack. But uh, so if you want to know like the optimal way to play her, which is I don't know exactly how to do it yet. But the most optimal way to play her is, you know, build up the stacks like killing AOE enemies with the AOE deck. And then when you have the concerto bar full and you're using that enhanced damage. And you're only wishing a single target it's better to do the single one like i'm doing right there that single charge attack instead of the aoe one because it does more damage it's not like an insane amount of damage but it is more damage to do the single target but it will only be more damage for when you have that concerto bar otherwise i don't think it's more damage and it doesn't really matter but as far as i know that single target right here that is the most damage but obviously i didn't do the rotation right none of my rotations are right but on these floor floors it doesn't really matter how well your rotation is because they're they're not really not too strong they're uh, an entire level behind me and my san juan this is only level 80. she's not level 90 and i'm going to be going for camilla's weapon and i'm around like 40 ish pity so i should be able to get her weapon before the banner is gone so then i'll be able to put the standard banner weapon onto my San Juan, making her even better than she is. And I do have E1 uh, Shorekeeper, so that does make a difference. But Camilla has been really fun so far. I think if you're thinking about pulling her and you haven't really built your Havoc Rover and you feel like getting another Havoc character, then she's definitely very, very strong. Is she better than Jin C? I would say no. I still like Jinsi more, but that's I like when I first saw Jinsi, I liked her as a character. I I liked her design, the way she looked. I thought she was so hot, so I just like Jinsi the most. So that's that's just bias for me. I think she is still stronger, but she needs teammates. I would say Camilla is more of a self-sufficient DPS in a way, kind of like how Gion is, but with, with more mechanics but more damage. So she has the potential to do a shit ton of damage if played right. Obviously, if you play it wrong, she still will do a shit ton of damage. As you can see right here, I'm doing a lot of damage. I didn't even use my crownless right. So if you like use everything right, you do do a shit ton of damage. So you just said 130k there with my, my plant. And her parrying, as you can see right there, is very good. So uh, as far as like the spin to win, you can parry. I wouldn't say it works 100% of the time because I was doing some testing on this tower. And most of the time, some of the attacks, that spin won't block. But as far as I know, the single target spin 
does parry most things. I just don't know if the spin, the big AOE spin the wind blocks everything and parries. But I know that I'm pretty sure the single target one should parry most things more than the uh, AOE one. So as you can see, I'm not even playing around. You just, I just uh, parry that. See, look, you don't even have to like parry. Like, it's so, it's so pretty. It's pretty not brain dead, I would say, but it is pretty simple once you get the hang of it. It's not too complicated. It's just, as you can see, my concert to bar and it does that full combo. You gotta wait for the full combo, and then I see how I had the damage buff. Now I do the single target. As you can see, I used the single target after I ran out of my concerto bar buff so it didn't do very much damage so there it would have been better to use the single target with the concerto meter but i'm not too good with her yet so i can't really do that but she's a work in progress really fun to play i'd recommend getting her my sanhua i thought i after i learned that you can just use her skill and then use her ultimate and then proc her concerto and it gets her uh outro ray faster so that's a little tip there, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it a lot. Please leave a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to make more Camilla videos if you guys want, but that'll be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please get Camilla if you're thinking about getting her. She is very strong. So thank you guys for watching very much. And I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And uh, hopefully you guys have a great weekend because it is Friday. So you guys go out there. And this is my first time actually being able to uh, get all 30 stars. So I guess I'll just wait because i did record my stats nothing crazy as you can see now we're looking at my characters my camilla is at 78 over 199 and she's using that and relic set is the havoc set and those are her traces nothing crazy my shortkeeper has all max traces or not well, most max traces and she has e1 and then my sandwell is e6 using command conviction 63 over nothing crazy so hope you guys enjoyed please like and subscribe if you did and uh have a great day <laughs>